basically in 1987, the company did whatever they could, mostly small cranes, a little bit of structural. New ownership took over in 98, and cranes were probably half of the business then. Now the cranes are about a third of the business. Structural is growing. We have three facilities in NISCU, and we run about 20 welding stations per shop. So roughly about 60 welders. We mostly do wire feed welding with uh, metal core, arc welding. We do some stick welding. We build a lot of structural steel. We put together modules as well, full component modules. And then we specialize in overhead cranes. We use the Miller XMT450s for the bulk of our structural welding. And started out with the XMTs and they have served us well. They're a fairly simple machine, easy for the guys to use. They have the digital screen, so they know exactly that they're within their welding parameters when they're using them, and they don't have many breakdowns. We just purchased two XMT450 MPAs with the idea of going into different types of welding, so we're using them for pulse welding, for out of position welding. We've done a bunch of testing on it, getting our downhand procedures. It's just one more step that makes it easier where we're not doing everything in position and rolling. These machines seem to work very well for the pulse. Um, in the past, anything out of position was done with stick. Uh, electrodes, which is, it's slow. We're looking at putting remotes on them. I think they're a great machine. I mean, I've done TIG with them. I've done aluminum on a spool. I've done pretty well everything that I can do. Like, they're a great machine. With how versatile it is, I mean, to switch it from one process to another, it's really not a big task. Flick a switch, change your connections, and away you go. The wire feeders that we use are really good, too. They don't bunch up or rat nest on us. We basically use 80 to 90 percent pole bar, Fabcore edge wire with the pulse machines. We use the 86R, which that's brand new to us. We are in business to make money and better productivity is going to get you to that end point. And I mean, I feel Miller and Hobart with their help gets us to that end point that, that we're looking to be at.